Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. It's Tony here. Today I have a very interesting tutorial of how to fully unlock the Zebra TC20 device so you can use all of these functions very similar to a normal Android phone. Now those devices have the built-in barcode reader over here and they were used in uh, retail for outlets like let's say Sports Direct, Zara, pretty much all the fashion outlets they're using some sort of phone like that. It was made by Motorola in the US but um, you know advertised as Zebra as a separate company and what the issue is over here as you can see this screen is cracked and basically when that happens com companies are just replacing it with a new device. So assuming you already know the password of this phone you just tap it in and all you have is that screen over here guys with all the retail applications uh, which lets you do the stock control scanning and this kind of stuff and pretty much nothing else there is absolutely nothing you can do with this device apart from that you can't really pull the notification over here there is nothing you can do really and in case you're wondering Tony how about if we go into the uh, you know recovery and we reboot the phone from there or factory reset it well i have bad news for you you can't really do that because that's all you can do in the recovery guys you have system reboot apply update and power off that's pretty much it now there is a solution for that as well but you have to be a registered developer with zimbra technologies and then you can actually uh, download a specific factory reset image which you can apply and lets you factory reset the phone or you can apply the latest update that's the only way though however uh, you and me we don't uh, you know have any access to developer accounts I can imagine so I've played along uh, a little bit with it and I found a perfect solution guys very very easy uh, you know solution to this problem which is going to let you use the phone as normal now the issue that we have here is that although the wife is saying switched on I don't think there's the wi-fi the wi-fi is over here guys and is pretty much currently off and not registered to any network so pretty much there is no way around it so I found after a lot of experimenting the only thing you can do is actually quite simple guys you press over here to activate the camera you just take one photo just like that you press on the photo over here and I'll show you what we can do you activate your password over here guys and after that you go to share we're gonna go to add to Google Maps it opens maps and from here on from here on what can we do uh, right okay so what we need over here guys is to press the X button over here this is the maps we press over here and we go to uh, let me see settings and now we're gonna go to Google location settings and uh, wait a second over here if we press over here we are getting the uh, actual Android menu over here guys and from here on we can actually turn on the Wi-Fi as usual and we connect to our Wi-Fi network but most importantly what we can do is when we go to the Google location settings over here guys we can actually go to let me show you we can go to apps over here where is apps let's have a look let's have a look let's have a look we go to apps and after that we go to let me see default opening links okay home app now from here we have to choose launcher 3 which is the normal Motorola launcher and boom there we go guys we bypassed the launcher of the enterprise and from here on every time we wake up the device uh, granted that we know the password of the device like that guys we are going to go in the normal Android launcher so from here on we can do pretty much whatever we like with this phone guys and pretty much this that's that's it guys this is the only bypass solution that i managed to find with this phone thank you very much for watching if you have any questions put them in the comment section down below but that's the most effective way of actually unlocking all the uh, features and possibilities of this device 
Uh, by the way, quick tip, if we manage to make it this far into the video, guys, uh, even if your device has a cracked screen or a cracked touch screen, both of them are replaceable. As you can see, I've already fitted a brand new touch screen on this phone. Actually, it's very easy to separate just the touch screen from the LCD itself. Or if you have to change the LCD, sometimes they crack underneath. It's as well very easy to do. Both parts available on AliExpress. And, uh, you know, if you have one of those devices, you want to sell it, increase the resale value, change the touch screen. It's really cheap and easy to do. And uh, yeah, if your application unlock it like that pretty much, you can get a little bit better money for it on eBay. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.